العالمين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد دي brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to this new episode of Ask Huda broadcasting to you live from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Brother Rashid says, one of the knowledgeable shuyukh here in the United Kingdom has deemed the university student loan scheme an investment transaction rather than a standard riba-based transaction because it has several conditions attached to it, such as you only pay back the money once you earn a certain amount and the debt is written off after 30 years when you, or when you die. Is this a valid opinion? The issue of student loans is quite common in the West and it is called student loans and the shari rule that all scholars agree upon is that any loan that draws in or drags interest then it is riba so if there is a loan and you gain something out of it of that then this is a riba now camouflaging it or diverting it from its true, true nature by claiming it is an investment this is not true you know it and I know it the government gives you 9,000 pounds per year and it tells you that if your income exceeds something like 21,000 annually in this case you have to pay the 9,000 back plus interest. If it doesn't, that is your income, exceed it, then we'll wait until it goes beyond that. And if you die, we uh, 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 forgive you for that. And if you reach a certain age or after uh, a number of years, um, uh, as it's stated in the question, they'll write it off. 30 years. So some say that this is an investment. The government is investing in you. This is, with all due respect, any nonsense. The government is not investing at all. They don't believe in halal or haram. They believe that this money may have a very big possibility of a return to them. So their citizens benefit, the government itself benefits from the interest money and from producing citizens that are productive by giving them university uh, uh, education. However, this doesn't change a thing. It is riba. It is a loan plus an interest on top of it which led so many Muslims, and this is unfortunate, to cheat and lie. So they graduate system engineers or industrial engineers or chemical engineers or whatever uh, position. They get a job, but they agree with the company, with the employer, not to disclose the real salary. Or they insist on not reaching the threshold so that they would not be forced to pay the interest. So they lie, they cheat, and they try to dodge. If it were an investment, it, they try to dodge giving the profit to their partner in this uh, uh, endeavor or in this uh, joint venture. But this is not. This is clear riba. And I've asked Shuyukh and I'm talking about real scholars in Saudi Arabia about this and if there is a possibility of looking at it from 
an angle of so-called investment, then they said, no, this is nonsense. This is clear riba, wavering, wavering or um, writing off some of the conditions of riba does not change its nature. It is still riba. So one says, what should I do? Should I remain being unemployed? Wallahi, this is something that you have to figure it out. Whether you have to study on a, a line, which is cheaper, and you have to put more effort into it. Whether you work and gain some money and then study. Whether you borrow from your relatives, from people you know, to give them later on. This is up to you. But you cannot come and camouflage such a transa transaction which is riba based and claim that it is an investment when it is not may Allah Azza wa Jal guide all of us to the straight path and I always ask the brothers and sisters don't listen to me don't listen to, to Tom, Dick or Harry go back to the grand scholars go back to the real scholars who can give you a sound fatwa which you meet Allah Azza wa Jal with. Now the biggest problem is when Tom, Dick or Harry would tell you that these grand muftis or these great scholars in Saudi Arabia or elsewhere they don't know what's happening in the UK so their fatwa is not implementable and this is a great and serious issue which raises question marks on such an individual who says this and the reliability of whatever he gives fatwas uh, uh, on. Um Muhammad from Saudi Arabia. Um Muhammad. <laughs> 